Now that we skipped a little bit of the running process, so we're just still running. We're almost out of time though, since it gets dark in this game at a roughly 2000 hours, i.e. 8 o'clock in at night. So you want to try to get ready by then, as we're trying to make it to this lake in about a minute and a half. And on our way, we picked up some wood logs and sticks and stuff, which you use to make campfires. And Pac-Man picked up cloth, which you need to make torches. You use torches to light your fireplaces because zombies will run very slowly in the light. Whereas at night, or in the darkness, they run extremely fast. Faster than you can when you're at a sprint. As we almost are from sprinting all this dang time. As you are almost there, once we get there, we will build a quick little makeshift shelter in which case we build a small platform and we dig down because zombies can't break through the water the material within the water kind of a little bit of an exploit as you click on the and stuff got one minute that's in a minute, okay. Then, do you want uh, planks or wood? Uh, wood, anything. Okay, I'm gonna just separate this in half. Alright, now, I, I, after building this same type of thing like five, six, seven times now, we're finding the best thing to do is not necessarily even go that far on out. We just have to be in the water just a little bit. Okay, so, right, start right here, Pack? Right. Sounds perfect. We can build the platform. The okay, how three. big do you want it? How wide? At least three by three. And sometimes when you place blocks, they, they will randomly vanish. Even though they will still take away, it's interesting to explain. Okay, I'm gonna start getting, digging down right now. Nice. I'm starting a torch right now. Nice. Come on. Break. 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 Sticks. Now this is the best way to make your light instead of torches is with campfires. I will show her in a second. Burn a lot better. They're brighter. Give you the cool effect of the, the fire like the torch does in your hand. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay, well I made a spot that you right behind you, Pat, that you can stand. Alright. Hold on. I'm gonna put right here. So if you go right behind you, there's a spot you can stand so I don't have to hit you with my pickaxe. Because proximity in this game is very unrealistic. You will hit things even when they're not on your screen, you will hit people, it's... still an alpha. But right now what I'm going to call it is just to dig down and get away from the zombies. I'm going to start branching out a little bit now. Don't want to go too deep. On the first one, like this. Torches will just light up as you hold them, and they're really nice. You can place them on walls. And to build a campfire, if I'm correct, is that and that. So one wood log and one stick builds one campfire. I have to eat and drink real quick. And then you just take the campfire, place it on the ground like such, take your torch, and left click, not right click, left click it, to create fire. Welcome back again YouTube, this is what our little chasm looks like real quick. Pac-Man's ingenious idea of hiding fireplaces behind stone, make cool little fireplace outlets. And just a quick FYI, this game, because it is going to be hard to distinguish at times. This is right here is iron, as you can see it's kind of a bronzy looking color. However, over here you have lead. Lead in the essence is rather useless other than you use it to make bullets. This one modded server that we have. Ooh, you can a witch pack man, you who the heck it out. Oh you know, I don't oh I do, I got some spam. <laughs> Damn! Got a little spam. Here you go. Thank you. Eat that real quick. Okay. And then iron is really useful because it gives you one iron ore, which gives you five iron ingot. Which five iron ingot can be used to make almost any tool. Actually, any tool. Assuming you don't break your tool trying to mine one ore. Or you can find it after you break it. 
I'm kind of trying to find it after you have mined it to me rather daunting. Where's my coal? Where'd the iron go? Here. I just lost mine too. Hmm. Where are you? Iron. Lost the phosphate too. Nice there. Interesting. Yeah, this game is a little bit. Oh, and there's my iron ore sitting inside of another block. Wow. Uh, can be rather. I, 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 have, I think I've lost two of them. It's like I iron. After the blocks, they're probably stuck inside of them somehow. Yeah, let's just get these two blocks out of the way. So, as you can see, there's my yeah. iron ore, put in the center. Glad you got numbers. Bastards. And then you have coal. Coal is really useful because it makes lumps of coal. And if you put your sticks here, you put your lumps of coal on top, then you can use that to make torches. They're much more effective than using cloth because cloth you need to make bed rolls and just so many important things. See this is our little cabin that we're using real quick to wait out today. Also some things you need to keep an eye out. See this is old plywood. But if you need to look for healthy trees, we use burnt trees so we can only make these crappy looking old boars. With healthy trees you can make a lot more things. Interesting if they different kinds. Alright, Scoop. Okay. Starting our journey on upward. Watch there. out. The only drawback to our this setup right now is that we should have fortified more up on top. We're gonna have zombies surrounded us right now. You can try to break it. Or break all the ladder. Yeah, we can end it. This is how you survive day one. Stay tuned and we'll come back and show you as our adventure continues.